Everyday Learners, I am Mom Claire and welcome to Earth and Life Science. Before we start with our lesson today, let us recall the planets in our solar system. Can you name the eight planets from the closest to the farthest from the sun? Very good! We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, among the planets, what makes Earth unique? What is an Earth that is absent in the other planets? Do you want a clue? Look at these images. What four-letter word describes the images? Correct! Life. There is life on Earth. But how does Earth support life? In today's lesson, you will recognize the uniqueness of Earth as the only planet in the solar system with properties necessary to support life. You will be studying the factors that make a planet habitable. There are five factors that we shall discuss. The first is Earth's location. The Earth is the third planet in our solar system. Its distance from the Sun is 93 million miles and it takes about 500 seconds for sunlight to reach the Earth's surface. This distance is enough to support life. As we have learned in our previous science lessons, the producers or the organisms that manufacture their own food utilize the energy from the sun and convert it into chemical energy that marks the beginning of food chains and complex food webs. This process is called photosynthesis. The distance between the earth and the sun is strategic enough to make photosynthesis work. If the earth had been too close to the sun, it would have been dry and lifeless just like Mercury and Venus. If it had been too far, like Uranus and Neptune, it would have been cold and dark. Its location also prevents it from planetary collisions. Our neighbor Jupiter is so massive and its gravity is so strong that it pulls the asteroids and other space debris towards itself, thereby protecting the Earth. The second factor is the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is the gaseous layer that envelopes the Earth. It is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen. The atmosphere traps heat and keeps us warm. It also shields us from harmful radiation and provides chemicals needed for life. The presence of an atmosphere on Earth is related to the third factor, which is the Earth's size and mass. Smaller planets have weaker gravity to hold an atmosphere, while bigger planets with bigger atmosphere will most likely have a stronger greenhouse effect. The Earth's size is just right to hold a sufficient atmosphere. The fourth factor is the magnetic field. As the Earth spins, the flow of liquid iron and nickel in the outer core produces a magnetic field. This shields the Earth from solar winds and other space weather. And fifth is the presence of water. On Earth, water exists as gas, liquid, and solid. Life benefits from the cooling effect of water. In summary, the five factors that make a planet habitable are its location, atmosphere, size and mass, magnetic field, and presence of water. Before we end, I will leave you with an activity to answer. Prepare a pen and a piece of paper. The title of our first activity is Crash Landing. Here is the scenario. A meteoroid has hit your spaceship. Luckily, you are passing through the Nonog system which consists of sun-like star surrounded by seven planets, some of which have moons. 
Your ship has barely enough fuel and guidance ability to allow you to select a nearby place to crash land. Shown on the next slides are the profiles of each of the planets and moons in the Nonog system. The information is sketchy, but it's all your sensors had time to collect before going offline due to the damage caused by the meteoroid. Question number one. In which planet will you land? Why? Question number two. Why did you not choose the other planets? Write your answer on your paper and submit it to your teacher. So this has been Claire Arrow, your teacher. See you next time for more interesting videos on science. Goodbye!